Hey guys, what's up? It's Catrice. Welcome or welcome back. I am excited. Today is a garden day. And for those of you who know me, you know that I love growing all the things, all of them. What you may not know is that I suck at what we're about to do today. What are we about to do today? We are about to go outside and see if we can save some seeds for my beloved African daisies. Now I grew African daisies for the first time last year and I didn't know much about them. All I knew is that I saw a picture. See that, isn't it beautiful? Thought it was beautiful and said, I must own that seed. So I purchased it, I put it in a little grow pot, it grew, it was magnificent, I loved it, and I knew that I had to grow them again. So last season, knowing that I wanted to grow more, in fact, someday I hope to have like a whole just wave of African daisies. I hope to have just a whole wave. But knowing that, I actually tried to save seeds from last year. I tried to save them from last year. And do you think it worked? No. No, they didn't. I only have a specific, specific amount of space to grow all of my things in. And that's because I gardened here in the desert of Colorado in a home that does not belong to me because we are renting and all of my things are in containers. So extremely precise I have to be with what I choose to plant. So for my African daisies, I literally just took up two little grow pots. Um, one of the ones that I had bought and then one um, with two separate seeds of the ones that I had tried to save from last year. Typically, I have a very high germination rate when it comes to my sprouts, but again, it could have been luck of the draw. It could have been because I stored them incorrectly, although they are stored with my other seeds right now, so hopefully we'll have better luck. But really, I'm just looking to continue to hone in on this skill. I wanna be able to save all of the things that I enjoy gardening so in the future, I don't have to continue to spend like two, three, four dollars on a packet of seeds for flowers or cucumbers or jalapenos, whatever they are, when I can just be saving them myself. Okay, so what we are going to do is grab our materials first. You don't need a ton of things to do this. One, you're gonna need like something to cut with. Two, you're gonna need a bag to collect in. Three, you're gonna need like um, an envelope or a bag or something to put your seeds in. And four, maybe like a piece of paper or something so that we can separate the seeds. And five, like a pen or a marker so that you can write down what you have. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff. What we're gonna do is we're first gonna go to the plant. Look for, obviously, a dry, like crunchy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like think of fall and the sound of leaves. We're gonna snip off as many of those as we can, collect them in a container, and then we're gonna bring them inside. Let's go. All right, guys, this is going to be the beauty in bloom that we are working on today. So what you're gonna be looking for is dried out seeds. So notice this one, this one is still in bloom, right? obviously the one next to it doesn't look as good so but that's not anything that we would harvest right because there's not going to be any seed pods in there what we're looking for is something that looks like this
I'm actually down here and I'm recognizing that um, there's another bloom coming up in this plant and there's hummingbirds attacking themselves. But um, look at this. Can you guys see that there? Happy birthday, little guy. I wanted to show you one more that was not ready, but you see how like this doesn't have any blooms on it or any petals on it, um, and but it's not dry yet. So this one will be ready in a little while. It's just not ready yet. I think for the most part though, I have collected all the dry bits. So we're gonna wave goodbye to this beauty. All right, now we are going to separate all of the goodies for today. So um, I'm not really sure if there's like an easy way to do this. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take that guy back outside. Hold on. Now I kind of am looking at this one and realizing like it's not as dry as this one was. So really you're looking for them to get this dry. Um, must have just got excited with this because I saw seeds in there, but these ones technically probably aren't ready. But we're gonna take them out anyway. If next year you hear me say that none of my things sprouted, just remind me that there was one pod that I took that did not have the seeds that were all the way dry. So we'll just blame it on that. <laughs> okay, so once you're finished with this process, you'll see that there are things that distinctly look like seeds and the rest of it looks like trash. And that's because it is. What I've been told is that if you are patient enough with yourself, if you separate the seeds, then your germination rate is supposed to be better. I honestly don't know if that's true or not true, but I'm gonna try my best to um, just pull out the seeds from this con this particular harvest, this particular haul of seeds. Um, I would assume that if you're doing like a whole big bunch of this, that uh, you might not have time for that. So I don't know. If you know, let me know. Let me show you what we got here. I've got everything separated, which I'm excited about. Let me just, let me just show you. So everything has been separated as you can see. And I just wanted to give you a better idea of what things kind of will look like when they're separated for you. I am noticing, I forgot a seed. Boom, okay. So this is all the stuff that is trash, <laughs> obviously. Um, there are about 21 of these dried up seed heads. So about 21 of those. And from 21, I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
four seeds. 64 seeds. I feel good about these seeds. I understand the process. It's very simple, so I'm just assuming that what happened last season is I stored them incorrectly. This time I'm gonna make sure to get them in the envelope right away and get them stored in a cool, dry spot right away. I don't want any problems. Um, so yeah, that's it. Something that I suck at, but hopefully this time Next year, I'll be looking at a wave of African daisies that I not only planted and started myself from seed, but saved from seed. Saved, start, grow. That's what we're looking for for next season. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed saving African daisy seeds. If you have any tips about how to save seeds from any other fruit or vegetable, I need to know and continue to research all the things. So leave those in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you guys here next time, okay? Come back. We'll see you soon. Bye.